Hey, it's Joe Tomargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, welcome back to another special edition of the Waterway Executive Spa Pump Repair Series Premium Content Edition. All right, in this video, we're breaking down the uh, electric motor of the Waterway Executive 56. We took apart everything else. Now what we're going to show you by request is how to remove the front end bell. But before we do that in this video, we're going to talk about why the shaft is rusted and what happened here. Okay, basically what happened was the guy's seal went bad or the pump, not the guy, but the pump seal went bad. When the seal went bad, water started leaking through here, okay, and then water started spitting into this bearing, and eventually the water coming at such a full thrust, that washed all the grease out of the bearings, and now the bearing's bad. So now what we're going to do is take a nut driver, we're going to put it on this little bolt in the front here, and you have to notice there's a little piece in the back too, you're going to have to hold with your finger or something like that, and you just unscrew the screw, just like this, okay? And now as you unscrew the screw, just like this, you're going to, like I said, you're going to want to hold it with your finger, just like that. And then this little piece is going to come out of the back, a little tab, okay? There you go. I'm going to let this drop. There you go. See, it's, a little, it's a little tab that goes right in the back there. And then you have your little screw, see? So don't lose those pieces. And later on, if you say, where does that go? Now you know it comes out of the front end bell, okay? So I'm going to move this little bearing tender. Now, what we have here is the front end bells on there. So what I'm going to do now is take my end bell, my shaft. I'm going to point it down to the wood. I'm just going to tap this end bell while I rotate it. Here we go. Ready? There you go, just like that. Now, you can see this this bearing, look at all that dirt in there. You see all that dirt and grime and grease? And then the same thing with the end bell here too, see? All that dirt and everything came in there because it was all getting washed in from the pump. Okay, so this bearing is bad. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw this armature, okay? We're gonna throw this up in the vise like this, and I'm gonna grab my bearing puller, and I'm gonna remove the front bearing, okay? Now, before I remove the front bearing, and we're gonna break that down in the next video, I wanna tell you something. On these spot pumps with the small shafts, don't ever put your bearing puller directly on the front of that shaft. You will smush these threads, all right? But when we get back, I'm gonna show you a cool little trick that's gonna allow you to never smash the threads and use a high caliber bearing puller on your spot. All right, so this is Joe Tamargo. Make sure you check out wetheadpumprepair.com. All parts are available. See you next video. We're going to be pulling off the bearing. And then after that, we're going to be testing this bad boy out to see how it sounds. Thanks for watching. Peace.